Welcome back to the Rustic Hideaway. While I would love to only show you the good days on a house build, I feel like it's my obligation to also give you a glimpse at some of the bad days. And a couple of weeks ago, before we started sheeting the house, we got hit with a really bad windstorm. It ended up pushing the house out of square quite a bit, and that sent us into a really long delay. If we deal with it, it's our house. We're the ones living in it. And if the only real issue comes to interior walls, like, I mean, like you said, there's not that many. No, it's just the drywall cuts on the corners is all. And then the only thing that's gonna affect really would be the kitchen. Will it affect how we can install cabinets in the kitchen? No, I just have to <laughs> Shims are our friends. Now in hindsight, the damage really wasn't that bad, at least not to me, but my husband is a huge perfectionist, so having it even a little bit out of square really bothered him. We spent the next few days getting it back where it needed to be, and then we went out and bought a bunch of ratchet straps and chains and used those for additional support while we got started on framing the windows and then finally went on to sheeting the house. View from Ben's room. Next summer, hopefully there'll be nice lush grass all out there. Poop grass, Poop grass yes. <laughs> Still green. Turn it off. Okay. Now you can see how to get that inside dimension. You have to hang this inch and a half longer on each side. So your inside is 48. Mm -hmm. Make it sensey. Makes sense. Now, if you have been watching our most recent videos closely, you've probably already noticed that we are missing three girders at the top of the house. Please don't come for us. I promise we finally got them in. In fact, you're going to see them at the end of this video. We just have to procrastinate on some things. Remember that awful Wyoming weather that was giving us such fits at the beginning of this video? Well, she more than made up for herself by giving us some absolutely glorious days. Yes, that's me working outside in a tank top in December. Now the windows you see here are one foot by four foot and we framed out 11 of them. One is going to go in our master bathroom, but then we have five on the east side of the house and five on the west side of the house. And I just have to say, I cannot wait to see how gorgeous it's going to look having the morning sun and the evening sun streaming in from up high into this big open space. Hey. 
The rest of the windows we framed out were four foot by four foot and we made 16 of them. That means we have a grand total of 27 windows in the entire barn dominium. Remember when I said we would get back to those three missing girders? Well, here you go. Honestly, this was just procrastination at its finest, but hey, we're building our own home, so I think we're allowed to procrastinate a little bit. My only true regret was that we waited until we didn't have access to scaffolding to finish this part. But my spidey skills are getting pretty good nowadays, and I am really good at climbing girders. Just maybe don't tell OSHA. If you'd like to keep following along on our home building journey, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you next time for more adventures in home building. Have a good one.